Hey guys, welcome to BP The Bible Perspective. I want to share a few thoughts on Shane Carey Richards, the fastest sprinter in the world, or certainly in America, promising a career, headed for greatness, but she almost blew it over a dumb choice. Black people, it's time that we have to talk about us blowing it. Now, before we get into it, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP, the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you ever thought or comment, add it to the comments section below. All comments are welcome. Now, this um, <clears throat> athlete, again, fastest one, she had, a, she had a amazing story, an underdog story. And as you can see, very flamboyant, um, we would say ghetto, but I'm going to say flamboyant. And I'm not, again, I'm not here to, I'm not judging her appearance, her expression. I'm going to say, do you? That's not the point either. And that had nothing to do with anything. Um, however, I, 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 where it comes into place is when people enter into this kind of spotlight, when a grand opportunity such as the one she has presents itself to her. And now she, she I don't know who is advising her, who's in her ear, but she almost blew the opportunity she has. Now, of course, at this point, the endorsements, millions in endorsements, um, just the fact that she's the, she is now being labeled as the fastest woman, and of course, had she gone to Tokyo, she, who knows what would have happened there. It is favored that she would have won, and of course, that would have opened up endorsements. She has been suspended because she has been suspended because she tested positive for weed and as predictable people are debating both sides of the aisle black people are saying it's unfair her one she was suspended for a month so she's going to miss the Tokyo um, Olympics something like that right in other words, it's the opportunity she's going to miss. I, I, I mean, I don't know exactly what... She, I think, she, yeah, she's going to kind of miss that phase. But it's only a month. Um, and so people are saying, it's racist, it's racism. No, it's not. It's her own choice. Understand this. And she, her explanation was, she had, she had just received news that her mother had passed away. The stress from that, the grief from that, she smoked weed. Okay, I'm gonna address that. Yes, sympathy because she lost her mother. But at this point, you could say, should she go on? Should she have dropped out? In other words, if she was grieving, should she have dropped out? But since she decided to continue on this path, here's what I'm going to say. Get counseling. Get some people around you that can strengthen you and hold you up. But abide by the rules. Don't blow the opportunity since you decided you were going to continue on. See, the problem here is sometimes we take it we, we, we take for granted these opportunities that we have she has a gift she has a an ability that would that's going to really earn her millions as I said she's going to pick herself back up because this is only a month now some people would say well Michael Phelps he messed up well he did he got three months back during the time but I, wanna, I don't want to compare her to Michael Phelps I don't think that's the point. I, I'm going to say, as black people, look, when you have an opportunity, 
Maybe yours is not an Olympic um, dream. I'm thinking about Suge Knight who started Death Row. There was an opportunity where he could have been the Motown of rap. Death Row was a phenomenon. And instead he blew that opportunity by playing gangster, playing gangbanger. And now he's in jail. Let's look at our everyday lives. Maybe you get a good job. Paid, pays nice. A nice union wage. A nice um, jobs with benefits. It's going to make your life a little better. A little bit better pay. Maybe, maybe afford a house, a car. Nice job. Don't be late. See, don't make dumb decisions. Don't be late. Make sure you get there on time. Make sure you understand the rules. So that, guess what? Even if, as you say, you think people are racist. Let's just say that you think people are racist. Don't give the racist an open door. Don't give them the platform to fire you. Don't take for granted your positions. Don't take for granted your opportunity. This is the talk we have to have among black people. She almost blew it. She almost blew it because of a dumb decision. And so many times, too many black people are making dumb decisions that they miss out on opportunities. And it's not a race thing. It's not a white man problem. It's not a racism. It's our own dumb decisions. It's time for us to have that talk and have a talk more, have, have more in depth conversation on this. But right now, that's my perspective. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to BP The Bible Perspective. And as always, if, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comments section below. All comments are welcome. Till next time, I'll see you then.